I'm with Christopher Lyon of Turnasol Siteworks, looking at a fascinating green wall system that I haven't seen before. Which he says, because nobody has. So tell me about it. All right. We design a green rail says green green wall system around a series of rails that would be mounted onto a building. Uh, what typically would happen is that in, during the construction process, the contractor is going to mount a series of rails up. Uh, we're going to deliver a modular planting system to that contractor who will assemble it, fill it with a highly inorganic soil type, typically like a green roof soil. Right. Then mount this, put the whole thing together, cut slits in here, plant this in the greenhouse, right. and let the plants grow in for a month to three months in the greenhouse. So it become it comes to the site sort of almost a little bit pre-vegetated, not fully grown well, out. Yeah, so it comes out that it's, it's at least enough so the plants will stay in the bag when you put it vertical. Ah. Then once you get it into the field, it's ready to go, ready to be mounted. They install it inside of the support bracket. Right. And then once it's out in the field, simply hung in place. Right. So if anything goes wrong, you can just pull out the modules, pull it replace out, and them. and replace them very easily. Run a seri series of drip across the top. That's here. my next question. Drip across each level of this. Put At each emitters. level, you put the drip exactly. in. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And uh, for colder climates, for the dieback in the winter, do you have like systems to sort of blow at the air? You no, know, we haven't done that yet. Typically, what one of the differences, one of the main benefits of this system versus any other sort of green wall system that's out there, is you're going to find we have a much richer soil profile here. We've got eight inches of soil here. Most wow. of the conventional green roof systems, green wall systems we've seen out there so far, are working on three and a half to four inches of soil. So you really don't have the soil medium to be able to support those plants over the winter period. Now the soil mix that you put in, that's going to be pretty heavy at eight inches. It's either. typically going to be a lightweight, it's uh, like light. a roof type mix. You're looking at inorganics. Right. Yeah, the, the soil that we've kind of come, come up with is typically about 30 pounds per cubic foot. Something okay, like that. that's terrific. Thank you very much.